Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farming Life at La Forge. For those of you who are new here, my name is Laura and this channel is all about our farming lives here in France. Um, so today I'm heading over to the second farm and now so just checking on the cattle first and then mum and dad and then I'd gone into my workshop actually and doing my clocks and then mum and dad are coming over this afternoon and we just have to bring in a group of cows so they're cows that are near enough now to calving um so we're picking out if it's the six closest ones go and look at them but the six there's six that are due soon um so we're going to be taking them away and bringing them back to the home farm so i'm over here now in the field across the road and just checking on five cows that we have over here um so check the fence make sure they're okay as usual um after we bring in the cows this afternoon i will be showing you as well at the sheds so there's a solar panel shed we'll also explain about a solar panel pump and a battery powered fence that i'm going to show you right now so solar panel is something that has taken off here in france um i don't actually know if it's taken off in ireland but it is getting bigger and bigger over here each year um so one thing is just the sheds are a massive thing now we see these solar panel sheds everywhere i don't know when it started it must have been at least eight nine year ago that we started seeing solar panel sheds being put up um so i'll talk to you more about them at the end of today's video so we ourselves use solar panels for electric fences and pumps this here is one of our electric fence units so a dad made these oh maybe four year ago now four or five years ago um since he made the first one so we got these panels here so they're quite big compared to the normal ones that you might see on some electric fences and the panel came with this unit here that controls basically everything um, so it stops the battery from overcharging it tells you how charged the battery is so we have now got four of these units that we use for fields that are away from the farm so the main farm and the second farm are all hooked up to mains power so there are electric fences there um, but as for fields that we might have away from the farm that can't get the mains power we use battery fences now normally battery fences we will be changing them every 10 days or so you'd be run out all the time changing battery fences they'd just be constantly running out and they'd lose power after a couple of days um these fences however with the massive solar panel on it even in winter time they always have power so since dad made this unit we haven't changed the battery in the box since um so we find it great it's a massive time saver and i happen to be changing these batteries all the time um they just charge themselves even in winter time there's always enough light to charge the battery again that unit there that you can see so that came with it i believe we bought it on amazon i have to look that we bought it on the internet anyways i think it was off of amazon but you can even have you can see those usb connections there there's USB connections there so you could even come in and charge your phone or I could charge my camera if I was up here doing something and it ran out of battery which it often does um, so then he has the earth there so the earth goes well into the ground so that even during drought which we do get we didn't get this year but so that when we do get drought um, we never have a problem with the earth it goes well down even in some fields that might be a bit more rocky solar panel unit another thing is um, because again the fields are away from the farm we don't have problems with people coming in and stealing batteries um so there's not a lot of theft in france or we haven't experienced a lot of theft in france but one thing that we have heard of um being stolen is the batteries and fences and so dad has put a lock on it there that's attached to the um, that's attached to a concrete base and so it's harder to steal obviously someone could come in and just snatch off the lock but generally if it's not easy to just take away um in a few seconds they won't we've never had a problem with it anyways so there is the fencer and again he can then just come in with the forks and lift that up and move it around so in the winter time when we haven't got cattle in the faraway fields um we bring them over and actually we use them for the batteries of the tractors so if we have tractors that might not be getting used as much during the winter time um, we can hook up a battery to them 
and they always stay charged so we never have problem with that and because of this unit here again we know that the batteries never overcharge so we could literally just put them on to the panel and leave them there and we don't have to be worrying about them so that is the first solar panel fence i'll show you the pump it is quite a similar setup and i will also then talk to you about the sheds so i better check the fence after all my talk and make sure that there is power in it So, we're here after putting cattle into the solar panel shed. Uh, they're not in it to stay, they're just uh, picking out uh, either the next 13 ladies due to cab over here. So, we're going to bring them back, uh, four of them out, and the rest in the next couple of days. So, we're going to bring them back in, in groups. So, uh, Laura will be talking to you about. There's the bus. Laura will be talking to you about the uh, solar panel shed and solar, the way it's gone over here in France. Uh, it's a very high shed, great ventilation, great for storing uh, hay around it. So <coughs> this shed was put up for the farmer and uh, they, they draw the money off the solar panels. So now the gates, the gates and the locking barriers and the viting gates you have to pay for yourself plus there's a big electric curtain on that i'll walk it there now for you and uh it's handy as well but it's, I, I think it's a great way to get a shed up if you don't want the expense i put them on up and it actually is yours and you're just not throwing the the money off it. Now there is farmers that uh, go the whole hall and do it themselves but it's just uh, another thing. So there's the, the roof, uh, all the solar panels, there's my dad, she's very happy and uh, Laura has the drone up as well. So uh, I think that the solar panel is very interesting. Uh, totally new to me in the last six or seven years. So uh, the curtains are electric. There's the switch. Now, saying all that, I hardly ever let it down.
So the people with the shed that supply the shed do just do the doors. They actually don't do that timber there. They just do the doors, the cable in sheeting. And for some reason, <coughs> they always do the, the passageway. It's a kind of a step down. Now that shed is eight meters high, so you hold an awful lot of hay in it, or straw, if it was for stored in that. And uh, I'll show you the controls of it now. So this is the other side of the shed. I can just tell you the scale, how high it is. And this is the little um, control place where all the electric goes out into the grid. So here we are, on the right. So each one of them, that's nine, eight, seven, six, well, they're all for the rows of the, each row of uh, solar panels is wired separately to each one of these. I don't know what, I don't know what, uh, how you measure the electric coming in or that, but uh, the people that get these sheds up themselves, they say they can actually make money without, uh, but uh, for me, I just, I'd rather let the people do it themselves in case some of this blew up or something and you have to maybe far a lot of money. But so far, I've never heard a bad, nothing bad to say about them and like they're here seven or eight years now. So there's a lot of word and a lot of technology in here. So there's nine rows of, nine rows of solar panels. Actually, they're roasted. Um, there's nine rows of solar panels. Actually, this would be a great place for a sick cat. It's a very warm shed. And uh, Laura will tell you more on the facts and the figures of it all later on. And that's it. We're going now and pick out the cause of the one. So there it is. Underneath the solar panels, then, it, there's a plastic, about an inch thick plastic, to stop any condensation. Over the passageway, then, it's just the, your normal uh, fiber cement. And uh, well, we stack a bit of hay there just for the beginning of the year. So that's these ladies here. to pick out the nearest ones now, but they're all coming back in the next couple of days. And uh, we actually have to show you, I had another cow with a set of twins yesterday, that we hadn't planned to have twins. All is okay. Okay, so we're now inside the solar panel shed. Um, it's a bit later in the evening, so it's getting a bit dark out. The lights in here aren't so bad, even though they're not LED, they are fluorescent, but this was the brightest shed up until the last shed. So this is a solar panel powered shed. This is a solar panel shed. Um, it was put up here before we rented the property. But basically the deal with the solar panel companies is that they put up the shed free of charge um, I believe you just have to basically have an area cleared for them and then they come in and do the rest. They then, the deal is that they get the electricity off the solar panels. Um, so that's what's for them. And you can use it for anything you want, except things like fertilizer, poultry, um, pigs, stuff like that. So the deal is for 20 years. After 20 years, the shed is yours. You can actually use the electricity that comes off the solar panels yourself or sell it. But um, by then the solar panels are practically no good because I think they say that it loses 2% every year of power on the panels. So that is one way of getting a free shed here in France is to have the space. Now it all sounds great and it is. Um, the only thing is, if you're putting it in a farmyard, you can't just have the shed wherever you want. It has to be at least five meters, I think it is. Five, some might have more, I'm not exactly sure. It depends on the company. But 
It has to be south facing for obvious reasons. So the camera ran out of battery, not really sure where I was. But basically yeah, you can get the shed. Most companies do 20 year contracts, now there are different companies. Um, it's basically the same thing with them all from what I know. One thing you will notice about the sheds is that they are very well put together. The well made sheds, now I know dad did a video earlier. Don't know what he said, so I could just be repeating everything that he was saying. But I'm pretty sure he took you around a bit more in detail. I have some drone footage that I will show either at the end of this clip or put over this video. Don't know how to do that in the editing, so let's see. So there's that. Then there are a lot of farmers um, now who have got these sheds up. We've seen more and more of them. And there are actually some farmers who put the sheds up themselves with the solar panels on top and sell the electricity off it. I'm not sure how much to make on, off the electricity. I know nothing about that. And the only thing I do know is that it changes all the time. Um, <clears throat> but the farmers who put them up themselves, it's a big investment at the start. Like the solar panels, I imagine, are quite costly. Um, but then you get the money off it. So I imagine over time, the shed would pay for itself and it would... Yeah. Now, the other thing about when you have the contract with the company and they're taking the electricity off it, you never really have to actually deal with the company. Um, they come along once a year just to clean the solar panels off and check that the unit. So apart from some repair and maintenance, um, which is actually quite low, yeah, you never really see them. So that is a good point. I believe Dad showed you in to the, the shed at the back where everything is. So other than the fact that it has to be south facing and I think it's a five meter radius around it um, that there's nothing in contact with it. And then there has to be no trees around it. So obviously nothing that can fall on the panels, block sunlight. Um, yeah, and that they have access to all around it for repair and maintenance. And that is it. And then you can get a free shed in 20 years time. It's yours. And it might make enough electricity off it then to even just power your own farm. Um, so now there are also companies that will push panels onto your existing sheds so they will pay per i imagine per square meter or whatever to put panels onto the sheds they also do it on houses um so they probably already do that in ireland or england um but yes that's one thing the shed doesn't have to be completely south facing but roughly it has to get as much sunlight as possible um but it can be off a little bit so that is another thing that people are doing as well also i didn't get to video it but there is an airport right beside us, so that's why I can't always fly the drone over it. But there's an airport right beside us, and they have now kitted out all the edges of the runway with solar panels. I'll get footage of it one day. They also have it fenced off, so they have sheep in under it, um, grazing to keep, down the, to keep down the grass under the panels. But yeah, so there's a lot of solar panels in France. Um, I know it's something that's getting big all over the world, but that's just how I... Up but I just thought I would update you on how it is in farming. So used in the sheds, in the pumps, in the in the electric fences. Um, there must be more ways of using it, but they're the ways that we have here on the farm. For the solar panel pump, I haven't actually got one here to show you and it's dark out now anyways. But that has shown on a few videos. I will link them below if you want to see it. It is a unit in itself. So it's a big tire that dad got um, with a concrete base on it. And then he has it in this container. I believe it was the, um, the containers that they do have for storing salt for snowy weather. I think that's what the containers are. Um, I must ask Dad. Inside the unit then, so it's completely waterproof, you have the pump. And the pump will pump enough water for 40 to 50 cows, even in drought weather. Um, down in the well, it's enough to pump for fields that are, again, away from the farm. And they also have an electric fence on them. So we have... It's equipped with an electric fence already around the unit itself. That's so that if you have a bull in the field, they are always poking and scratching, that they don't go near it and don't damage it. And it generates enough power to power an electric fence. I am now going to feed these ladies. They are looking at me and they're hungry.
you got too old. Can you not get up anymore? No, Jesse. So just before we end today's video, I would like to say a massive thank you to everybody for your comments and your messages on the last video. Um, so we really appreciate all the messages and kind words that you guys sent to us. And also thank you to Dad for taking over the last video for me while I couldn't. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Cookie.